Ryan Crowley marked his 100th game for Fremantle, while ruckman Aaron Sanderlands was cleared of an eye injury. The bye allowed North Melbourne extra time to lick the wounds, following the 87-point loss to Collingwood in round two. The Kangaroos bounced quickly into action, two goals in two minutes. Keeps it alive with a magnificent kick around the body. That's Did it goal. bounce through? I think it bounced over the line. It has. Daniel Wells, goal of the year potential. Hayden Ballantyne showed why the Dockers were ranked last in the league with kicking accuracy before the number one grubber kicked the first for Frio. Here's the little man, Ballantyne, threads the needle, kick along the ground is there, Fremantle away. After Matthew Pavlich put it on a plate for Reese Palmer, Ballantyne blew another golden chance. A tiny little bit of right to left about and he's missed it again. That's where he had the set shot from the little man. Sean Attlee steered through North's third major before Ballantyne spent time on the boundary line after this. So down the left side of his body and he's feeling it a little now as we speak. The Kangaroos took the lead under bizarre circumstances. Brent Harvey's kick was deemed touched before the boundary umpire overruled the goal umpire. Well, I'm flabbergasted, John, you know that one? You've got to go with the goal umpire. He's, even <laughs> if he's wrong, <laughs> he's that close. He can hear it. You cannot overrule him. Anthony Grover looked like he came out of a dockside skirmish before Fremantle kicked their fifth for a 36-27 lead after the siren. He's got every bit of it! Kepra Bradley gets them up out of their seats so they can go and buy a hot dog and be very, very happy! Stephen Hill booted his fourth goal of the season before Jack Zeebel made it an eight-point game with two goals in three minutes. Zeebel can go all the way from here. That's a powerfully kicked ball. Magnificent ball from Jack Zeebel. Ballantyne then snapped through his second. Here's Ballantyne. This way, that away. Right foot kick around the corner. Mighty Mouse has done it again. North didn't allow the Dockers to slip away, striking back through Daniel Wells and Harvey. To Zeebel over the back, double back. Harvey's on the run here. will get the easiest of goals. Well done from Harvey and Zeebel. At half time, Fremantle 9-9-63, North Melbourne 8-6-54. Nick Subin didn't see much of the second half, taken to hospital after his leg got caught in the wrong place. Well, you can see the foot is actually pointing in the opposite direction to where it should be. Aaron Edwards snuck one through for the Kangaroos before the goal umpire got more involved in the play than he should have. Well, it's, it's cost him a point for starters. Yep, because it would definitely have scored. Ballantyne swung around and played on to restore the Dockers' two-goal lead. Play on here as Ballantyne kicks the goal. Fremantle escape. Approaching three-quarter time, Fremantle moved into the driver's seat when Ballantyne broke clear. Has he got clean hands? Nice bounce. He'll need to take it out of bounds. Goes all the way and Ballantyne kicks the goal. Hill made it four straight for the Dockers to lead 96-64 at the final change. It's a magnificent stroke. Sam Wright gave North a chance when he booted the opening goal of the final term. Edwards collected his second major before Fremantle added insurance through Crowley and Garrick Ibbotson. And the kick for goal is very, very good. Nathan Fife got the full benefit out of a clearance to convert his second major from 27 possessions as the Dockers dominated most of the play. Monday is as straight as they come. Didn't move. At full time, Fremantle 18 19 127, North Melbourne 14 14 98. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.